feels so surreal to be filming this update right now, but I am currently four weeks, six days pregnant, which means I have known I've been pregnant for a week. How crazy is that? This is gonna be my four week update. I'm gonna do updates every week of my first trimester, and then I'll do like a little bump update as well. I've not got a bump at the minute, I've just got very bloated, but I'm not gonna show you the bloat, I'll try and breathe it all in. I've written down all my symptoms I've experienced over the past week. Excuse me if I feel a bit like I'm out of breath. I will try and slow down and I'll try and breathe, but that's one of the symptoms I've been having is breathlessness, which is gonna be super hard to vlog when no one knows I'm pregnant and I just keep getting out of breath. So I'm gonna have to try and learn to breathe between sentences. So one of the first things I've written down is pelvic pain and growing pains. I've experienced this all week long. Towards the end of the week, it's been more of a nighttime thing. Starts usually about six o'clock and carries on through the night. Sometimes I wake up with it as well. And it's just like a deep aching pain in my groin, in my uterus, and it was radiating down my legs last night, so that was fun. Um, I've put the metallic taste in my mouth, but it's not that bad. I did notice it the other day and I thought, oh, I wonder if that's what people mean. It's like you've always got this taste in your mouth um, and it does change the way that food tastes. So one of the things I've noticed doesn't taste as nice is butter, which is so sad because I love buttery toast, but it just doesn't taste the same anymore. Uh, the biggest symptom of all. I think I've got early pregnancy insomnia or like a very weak form of it. So every day since I found out, I've woke up at either 5 or 6 a.m. And I'm usually like a 7, 8 a.m. girl, like, and even then it's hard to get out of bed, but five o'clock comes, ping, I am wide awake, I'm desperate for a wee, I'm starving hungry, I'm wide awake, it's the most annoying thing. And so that's been okay, like I've not felt too tired, I actually felt really energised at the start of the week, but as the week's gone on, I am so tired, I woke up so tired today oh my goodness me so yeah i think that the early mornings are starting to catch up with me i was asleep by half nine last night which again super unlike me i just was struggling so hard to keep my eyes open it gets to eight o'clock and i'm just like <laughs> so that's new um my boobs have grown they've got up an entire cup size i had my bra fitted the other day and yeah they're not like super sore they're just a little bit tender just a little bit I can feel them if that makes sense, but they're not as bad as like when I get my period and they're just like so sore. Uh, whereas I've seen a lot of people like on YouTube and you know in forums, I'm on being like, I can't even touch my boobs. So glad that's not happening, but I do think I need to buy a maternity bra because I've got a wired bra on right now and it's so uncomfortable. <laughs> um, I've written here as well that I've had anxiety this week, which I think is a given when you're just in so much uncertainty. It's so it's so hard to just sit in the wait sometimes, but I, tr I truly fully trust the journey I'm on and I know what will be, will be, but I really, really feel hopeful. Like, I just want to feel hopeful. I think if we don't have hope, what do we have? But yeah, I do keep having that like anxiety and circling thoughts. So just trying to calm them, keep them quiet. The best thing I've done is talk to my girlfriends and share that with them. And you know, they're going through pregnancies too. And so they can kind of help me <laughs> with that if that makes sense but I do think a problem shared is a problem halved. Hungry I've written in capital letters and I keep getting hunger pangs. Usually when I'm hungry I get like really hangry first and I'm like oh I'm hungry. This is like I go from being full to two hours later so hungry like so hungry like hungry like I've never eaten in my life and it just comes from nowhere my belly growls and I'm like I need to eat something and it doesn't necessarily change the way I feel it's just that I'm hungry like on a cellular level so that's new um i sometimes feel a bit lightheaded that was sort of at the beginning of the week not so much now <clears throat> and yeah i get acid reflux too so i've not had it too much but i have had it in the last few days where i you know like it's like you burp and you're sick in your mouth sorry if you're scared of sick i should probably put a disclaimer at the, the beginning of this video um yeah and then the last thing there is waking up throughout the night hungry and thirsty which is fine and I feel like after this week it will be fine but for now I've been taking a pregnancy test every morning just to see the line progressing so being thirsty through the night it's not greatly ideal because then it dilutes my pee for the morning so yeah I'm trying to figure out that out you know as I go but um definitely <laughs> definitely not having great sleep at the minute just don't wake up feeling very rested so that's my symptoms for week four it I am 16 dpo today 16 days past ovulation and i finally 
I finally got a die stealer test. I don't know if you can see that very well. When we compare that to the first test I did, it's worlds apart. I don't even know how we saw that first pregnancy test. It's wild to me. So a die stealer, I've learned so much lingo from the trying to conceive community, which is the TTC community. There's so many like so much jargon, there's so many abbreviations you have to learn, but it's such a great community to be a part of when you are trying. So basically this is, some people aren't anxious, they take a test at the beginning of their pregnancy, it says pregnant, they trust it, they believe it, they carry on, they have a baby. For other people, you doubt it. It feels surreal, like it does not feel real. So every day I've taken a test and slowly but surely the line, the pregnancy line has got darker up till today when the pregnancy line is actually darker than the control line, which is just amazing to see. So amazing to see. And that just means that the baby is given out lots of HCG. I think that's the right way around. Yeah, HCG, I think that's right. Um, which is a good sign. All good signs. So I'm going to show you my belly because I have blobbed on for far too long. <laughs> I think I shared in a clip as well, or I'll share it after this, um, how bloated I am. So I am bloated today, but I'm going to breathe it in for the sake of this vlog. And I've got really high-waisted trousers on, so I'll bring them down. This is my belly breathing in from the side. And then this is the front. I can't wait to watch it grow. And if I let it out, <sighs> <laughs> so bloated. <laughs> I can't wait for it to just be baby bloat, you know, like actual baby rather than it just being hormonal bloat. But that is my update for week four, so I'll see you all in week five. I bought maternity jeans. <laughs> it happened. I am so bloated that I just had to, I had to. I can't believe. I cannot believe how bloated I am. It's ridiculous. So normal jeans just don't fit and if I put them on, that's fine, but then they're just pressing in, they're digging in, and I just feel like I just want to give myself <laughs> space to grow. Um, and these are inevitable, so at least I can be comfortable now. <laughs> I feel ridiculous though. Um, but I mean, I fit in I fit in them, so what can you do, eh? I've just got all my tests here. <laughs> I just took a picture for my pregnancy book. And I can't quite believe how many tests I've took. I'm a bit crazy, aren't I? But hey ho, it's fine. So these were my progressions that I've been taking. So that was day 9, 10, 11, 12, and I think that's 14, and then 16. So it's nice and dark now. I took this one this morning. This one was this morning, so it's still looking amazing. And then I've got this one as well. My other one, the battery died, but that said one to two. And then this one says two to three, which is so reassuring to see. These ones last ages. So if you're wanting to tell your partner or something or family, get one of these with the flashy lights because these ones only last for 24 hours, but I think these ones last for six months. It's been there for a week now. And then I got my cheapy Tesco and then the two clear blues. This was the first one I took and then it got so much darker after that. So feeling really, really positive about these now. <sighs> so I'm just hoping at some point the um, the old bloat goes down and I get to see my belly progressing because I know there's not going to be a bump for a while yet. Uh, but it'd be nice to be able to tell the difference and not just already look five months pregnant. I don't know how pregnant this looks, but... <laughs> It's quite ridiculous. <laughs> They're a little bit big around here because obviously it's not a proper baby bump yet. Um, but they're fine. I've just been eating my breakfast and filling out my pregnancy journal, which feels surreal. It's so, so nice. I'll leave it linked down below. Just feels weird, like super weird. I've dreamt about taking these pictures for so long. So we've got, we're having a baby, the day we found out, not quite the day I found out, but the same sort of vibe. My crazy, crazy lady pregnancy test in there. So cute. And I've got this little one as well, which I'm sticking my belly right out there. Well, I'm not, it's just my bloat. Uh, but I thought I would document the bloat because I feel like it hopefully will go down. And then I'm just gonna, I've not stuck these in yet. But on the next page, unfortunately, it's not got a four week update, so I've got all these pictures to do. So I might just do this picture and then my five week picture as well, and then fill this in next week. So I'm not, I'm not, I've not been five weeks yet. I turn five weeks tomorrow, so I've still got a bit of 
bit of time before I want to fill this out because then I want it to be in order because obviously the weeks go up after that. So I'll just put four and five onto here. But look, it's such a cute picture. <laughs> oh my gosh. I'm five weeks, six days today. That week has gone so fast, but then in the same breath, I look back and I'm like, why is it going so slow? Ah, I think it's about 12 days till I have my first scan and I cannot wait for it. I'm just so ready to know that there's a heartbeat and know everything is going well. It's all I want more than anything in the world right now. Oh my goodness me, but I've got a long, very long <laughs> list of symptoms from the past week that I wanted to share with you for my week five update. <sighs> I'm a bit out of breath again today, so you're gonna have to bear with me. <laughs> so the first symptom I put is so tired and drowsy. So at the start of last week, oh, I was just so tired every day, just like, you know, you need to wake up and you think, oh, I could just go back to bed. Pretty much has not left <laughs> the entire week. And then as the weeks progressed, I've gone to bed earlier and earlier and earlier. Last night I was in bed literally before half past nine because it gets to like nine o'clock. In, in fact, it gets to like eight o'clock and I'm like, I'm done. There's nothing else I can contribute to the day. I just want to go to sleep. At the beginning of the week, I had really chapped lips and I think that's because I've ended up needing to drink so much more water than I usually drink and I don't think I was drinking enough the week before and I think it really dehydrated me from the inside out. So I've been drinking a lot more and my lips have gone back to normal, which is good. I gagged. <laughs> this is really like last week, um, sort of like the beginning of last week. I went to my dad's and as you guys know he's disabled, um, he has a commode, <laughs> this is probably like too much information, but the carers had poured his pee into the toilet and they'd clearly missed it, had gone onto the floor, oh my god, it smelled so bad that it made me gag and I, I am pretty bad at gagging, like usually I would gag at <laughs> something like that but it was so bad I stood there for like five minutes just like, <laughs> so that was something. Um, I had acne in really, really weird places at the beginning of the week. It's kind of cleared up. Has it cleared up? Okay. No, I had I had a spot on my earlobe today. That's probably a weird place. But they were in my eyebrows. I don't know if I mentioned it last week. They've kind of settled down now. I've still got a few like lumps, but they're not spots anymore. But I had so many spots in my eyebrows, which is super random, but nowhere else. So I don't know what that was all about. Couldn't stop yawning. Yes, and this is still true. There was one day I was like, I just need to get out, I just need to start moving, I just need to get some more energy. And I went for a walk and I didn't stop yawning the entire time and I was like, clearly I'm just tired. Uh, so I've been trying to get a bit more sleep. Um, I've had some cravings this week. My cravings have been ginger beer, which is super random. I guess it makes sense in a way. I haven't felt too nauseous to be honest the entire week, which is a blessing, but I have really craved ginger beer. And I don't drink fizzy drinks ever. Like, if you know me, you know I've got IBS and I get bloated really easy. I've been bloated anyway. So I stay away from fizzy drinks, but I cannot stop drinking ginger beer. It's just so good. Even right now, I'm like, I could drink a ginger beer. The other thing was nachos. I could just eat nachos until the cows come home. Nachos with salsa and sour cream and jalapenos. Oh my God, I could just eat it all day. And then the other thing, what was the other one? There was another really random one potatoes. Yeah, I've been craving potatoes. There was one day that I ate like six potatoes, not all in one go, just like chopped them into chips. And then we had mashed for tea and it was just so good. I just needed it so, so much. <laughs> ah, and then the last few days I've had such achy, sore back and legs. Like yesterday, oh my gosh, I woke up and I could hardly even move. My hips were in so much discomfort, so much pain. And I was like, what is going on? And I think I just, because your ligaments get a bit softer and I'm a bit hypermobile, I think I just slept really bad and it just really impacted me. And that lasted throughout the entire day. Like it was so bad. And so I ordered myself a pregnancy pillow, which arrived. Oh. <laughs> it's way too early for a pregnancy pillow. I know that. This thing's a blessing, guys. I slept with it last night and I feel so much better today. So it has like a bit of back support and then, you know, the sausage for between um, your knees. And it was great. So I feel a lot better today. Last night, I was super duper emotional. I cried for the first time since finding out I was pregnant because I just felt so overwhelmed. Not sad, just like so emotional, just... I had a lot of anxiety, I just felt very stressed and trying to calm down so I had a good cry 
and then I did a meditation and I went to bed and I woke up today just feeling great. So <laughs> I obviously needed to get out whatever that was. And I have noticed the last few days that I've gradually got a bit more like temperamental. Like things, are, I'm quick to anger if that makes sense. I'm just trying to like be chill. It feels a little bit PMSy, you know, like just before you come onto your period. Then the last thing I've got there is that I'm exhausted and in bed by nine most nights, which I already said but I am still getting up early. Not as early as the first week. I pretty much wake up between six and seven. There was one day I could have just kept sleeping. That was the first time since finding out I was pregnant. But every other day since then, I'm just waking up super early. But I am going to bed early, so it makes a lot of sense. And I have napped more days than I haven't this week. Just for like a quick hour or so. But I've just felt like I needed it. You know, I just felt really, really tired this week. <laughs> I'm still super grateful. Like. I don't know what the next week's got in store, but so far so good. I get little tiny waves of like <sighs> nausea and like I say, I have those burps that I go on about a lot, but I don't just tend to feel sick, you know, um, and I know a lot of people in the pregnancy at this point do start getting that nausea come up. So we'll see what week six has in store, but I will do a little bump update. It's mostly still bloating. <laughs> I hope you can see me over there. <laughs> this is what we're looking like this week. I feel like, this bump, like I cannot breathe it in. And when I do breathe it in, it's like a little bit more stuck out than it was before. So I don't know if that's the start of something. <laughs> I don't know if I'm just showing really early or maybe it's just bloat, but I could usually breathe that in. Like, let me see if I can show you better. That's me breathing all the way in, but it's got like a little, a little flick. So I don't know, maybe I've just put on a little bit of weight this week with all my nachos and potatoes, but... <laughs> yeah, I think that's it for this week's update. So we have now got a pregnancy pillow. I'm going to the shop today to get some more maternity leggings because I don't fit in my actual leggings anymore. It's like I've just swollen up all over my body and I'm just like, just can't fit into anything. These maternity jeans did end up being a little bit too big. They're just too big here as you can see. <laughs> so they do just kind of slide down through the day. So I do just need another pair. And that's me breathing out. It's not as bad as it has been. So we will see what this next week has in store and I'll update you guys very soon. I know in the last few clips, I've done an update when I'm all dolled up. I've got my makeup on and I feel like I look nice. This is the reality of how it's been the last few days. Um, I forgot to do one major update and that was my boobs. Remember last week when I was like, oh, they're not really hurting, they feel fine. Wow. This week has been something else. <laughs> it's been wild. I've actually switched to maternity bras, like the ones <laughs> for breastfeeding. Because my friend was like, you need to switch to those, like you can't be wearing wired bras and I just needed the extra support and because they've gone up like two cup sizes, it's ridiculous. And they've just been so painful, like my nipples have felt at times like they are on fire. They've just been so sore. Like I can't even touch the sides, they're just so painful. So yeah, that's definitely a symptom that I have been really struggling with and completely forgot to share with you all. I am at six weeks and two days pregnant today and I feel like I look it, I just look a little bit rough. I pretty much just got out of bed and I'm sat here tossling with the idea of what I'm gonna have for my breakfast. I think it was yesterday, like six weeks one day where the nausea really kind of started for me. It didn't make me feel like I was gonna be sick but I didn't feel great all day and then today, there's just that feeling that's come back and I'm so hungry but I have no idea what I want to eat. For the last few days, I've really been craving um, sausage and egg McMuffins from McDonald's and I've even been making my own because it's all I could face the thought of and today it's the last thing I would ever want. I was just speaking to my friend and I was like I actually think like maybe like a chocolate mousse. I can actually hear my belly growling but the thing is is I go in the kitchen and I'm like oh, I just don't want any of it. None of it sounds good and so it's really hard so that's new. <laughs> I got um Finally, I took a pregnancy test again. This is my last one, I promise. I really wanted to see it say um, three plus. Oh, is it gonna focus? There we go. And it does now, I think you can see that. So I took one the, I think it was Wednesday and it said two to three. It went from one to two to two to three really quick. Then I did another one and I expected it to say three plus and it did and it said two to three, which threw me. But then I realized that doing the calculations, the, um, 
I don't know, is that is it parameters? There's like a certain level for each one. Like I think um one to two is like up to maybe like twenty whatever the thing is that they calculate the hormone, then the two to three goes up to two hundred and then I think this one's like in the thousands, like 2,500 or something. So it's really reassuring to see that today, like feels really good to see that and I feel, yeah, I feel good now. I can stop testing. Not that it would make a difference. I just, it's so reassuring to see, especially in these bits of time where you're just waiting. Um, I've got my scan next week and I'm really looking forward to it. I am nervous for this week going into week seven because I feel like the nausea has started and the food aversions have started and I've definitely had food cravings that's not such a bad thing but the food aversions mm. and it's like all I'm craving is unhealthy food as well which is really annoying um mm. but we'll see I don't feel great <laughs> I feel great today I didn't feel great yesterday Ugh, I just feel a bit unwell and I feel really tired and I only just like went to sleep. I only just went to sleep. I only just woke up. I was asleep by 10 and I woke up at about quarter to seven by myself, which I do all the time, which is so annoying because I'm still tired when I wake up, but I can't get back to sleep. I feel like all I'm doing is moaning now, but this is a symptoms vlog. And so I guess that's what you signed up for. <laughs> ah. I'm just so grateful to be pregnant in the first place. So it feels wrong to be complaining. I'm not complaining, I'm just observing. I'm observing, uh, which is so interesting. It's so crazy to see how much it changes from day to day and week to week as well. It's wild, but yeah, I've got my little, my little pregnancy test. And I'm gonna go and try and find something to eat. I don't know what to eat. <laughs> chocolate that's what I want I think I want chocolate today which is weird because I've just really wanted savory food for weeks and now all it is is chocolate which is not very blood sugar stable so it's not gonna go well is it oh I wish we luck <laughs> what a week that has been oh my goodness me so I'm putting a little disclosure in here that I do talk about bleeding and worrying about miscarriage here so if that's something you've experienced and you don't want to hear about it then just skip along and hopefully the rest of my pregnancy has gone smoothly but about three days ago um I went to see my friend told her I was pregnant very exciting got home and had a wee felt fine when I wiped there was like red blood and I was like Whoa. that was literally like my worst nightmare come true and I just couldn't believe it, I could not believe it. So I wiped twice and it was there. Then when I wiped again, it wasn't. And I was like, what is this? <laughs> Ugh, what is this? And so obviously freaked out, it was absolutely devastated. Uh, the first thing I did was ring my midwife. I'm not actually booked in yet, but I can ring like the local unit. Um, and she said, I'm going to contact the early assessment unit um, and see if I can get you an appointment. So then they got me an appointment for the next day. Dan was away, so I was by myself. So my mum, bless her, came through because I had a meltdown on the phone to her. <laughs> she probably thought, what on earth is happening? Um, but I was not coping. <laughs> I was not coping at all. Um, and she came and stayed the night with me, bless her. It means so much that she was able to do that because I just... We didn't know what was going to come next and I just did not want to be on my own and obviously that's the last thing anyone in my family wanted to happen. It's just really, really bad timing with Dom being away. Um, and so I was I was devastated thinking I might lose the baby. I was devastated thinking if everything goes well, Dom won't be able to be with me for that first scan, which is massive to me. It was a huge moment. Um, you know, our first ever baby, seeing the baby for the first time, it's but I'd rather have seen them and know everything's okay, you know, and, and he said the same thing. Um, we had the scan the next morning at like quarter past eight. I was like the first person in there. Um, she did the one on top of my stomach first and she found the sack, which was really good news, but she couldn't see inside it because I'm super early. So then she did the internal exam and I was just like, I don't think I spoke. I was just laid there like, <sighs> Anyway, she found a heartbeat and I was so relieved, so relieved. Oh my God, I've never felt so relieved in my entire life. 
it was a horrendous 18 hour wait waiting for that scan but we had the um the scan the heartbeat was there she said there's no clear cause of what caused the bleeding some she didn't say this but i've googled it obviously sometimes as your uterus is stretching it can dislodge old blood and it comes out which is kind of you hear the cats like some like a, they're gonna bring the roof down it can dislodge all blood which can kind of cause like a gush of blood which is kind of what it felt like and um, that kind of settled down then yesterday i just had a lot of like not a lot but like watery brown discharge which again was concerning but today we are back to normal and i am oh my god it's just been a roller coaster of a week absolute roller coaster and at the same time which is not related to pregnancy but um i went to see my dad thinking i should be resting but obviously i still have I still have obligations and I still need to look after my dad. Um, he wasn't well at all, so I ended up calling an ambulance for him and he ended up in hospital. So it's just been a really, really bad week. Just really bad. It couldn't have got worse, but at the end of the day, it's a good week because baby's okay. My dad's getting better in hospital. Just crazy. So, <laughs> you're all right. <laughs> So I thought what would happen happened, they've put me back, so um, I ovulated on day 20, not day 14, I don't have a normal 28 day cycle, so we've gone back in time a bit now, which kind of messes up this vlog, but it's fine, because it's more accurate to what the baby is measuring. So the baby is measuring, um, was measuring three days ago, um, six weeks, one day, which was right, what they thought, or what like was predicted was six weeks six days which is quite not a massive difference but at this time of it growing it's a big difference so yeah I've, I've changed all my apps back it might change again when I go for another scan in a few weeks but for now I'm just kind of going off that um there was a strong or well, she didn't say strong she just said there's a heartbeat I saw the heartbeat flickering and um, they've got a nice yolk sack everything looks good so just <sighs> so relieved so relieved because I know that the outcome could have been completely different. So I've got a picture um, of our little bean, our little squidge. So I'll show you guys, but I'm just exhausted this week. I'm sure I'll check in with you in a few days when it's like nearly the next update. But for now, that's all I can say. It's just been a week. So here's the picture. It <laughs> Obviously, there's not very much to see, but that's the little egg sac. And then this little, I think it looks like a swan. This is our little baby. So here's the baby. That's the yolk sac up there. And the heartbeat was like where this darker patch is there. So just really reassuring to see and uh, super grateful to have this picture, you know, really, really grateful. And I can't wait to watch them grow. Just hope everything carries on going smoothly now. We finally made it to the end of week six. It's been a two week update this time because of, I think I explained it before, but because of my scan moving the date back five days, kind of went back in time five days. So I should have been eight weeks now, but actually I'm just turning seven. So <laughs> that's fine. Um, I was just gonna, share with you guys the symptoms I've been having. So I had my bleed, what I thought was six weeks, six days. Actually, in terms of the growth of the embryo, it was six weeks, one day. So a bit confusing, but hey ho. So we saw the scan, saw the heartbeat, and the next day I just had a little bit of brown discharge that kind of carried on for the next day. And then it's kind of fizzled out a bit now. Things seem completely back to normal, touch wood. <laughs> My heart goes out to any of you who've been through the same thing or had a much worse outcome than what we had. Um, other things this week, which have been new, I have had such sore boobs and sore nipples. My nipples feel like razor blades. Like, I can't, obviously, like, when I'm at home by myself at night time or, like, when Dom's back, I usually take my bra off so I can be comfortable. I can not not have a bra on. I cannot stand the feeling of anything touching them. It's like, it's just so sore. So I've been using my nursing bras. <laughs> They've been working really well. They're so comfy. It feels like I'm not even wearing one. Um, I did start sleeping without one again recently, but I was having to sleep in them as well because I was just so uncomfortable, which is crazy to me. I've never experienced that before. I've been really emotional. Obviously a lot of that's probably the anxiety from the week that I've had, but yeah, I just cry at everything all the time, like anything. I'm just like crying. <laughs> um, I've been craving a lot of sweet things this week, like way more than I normally would. Don brought me back some sweets, some chocolate, some biscuits from France when he went on holiday. And 
all I wanted was a sweet stuff. All I've been craving is a smoothie I've been making, which was like cherry, strawberry and yoghurt. Super random again. Um, chocolate, I could eat so much chocolate and the thought of savoury food is just not a good thing. And I've been super nauseous as well this week. Not consistently, just when I let myself get too hungry. And I tend to find it's worse in an evening. So I'm really struggling to eat my tea or my dinner, whatever you want to call it. Uh, last night I made homemade Nando's and I was struggling. I didn't even eat the chicken and it's still in the fridge. And the thought of going and eating that is like, no, I'd rather not. <laughs> I would so much rather not. I'd so much rather just have a smoothie, but obviously I need to eat a lot of fibre as well. So keeping that in mind, but yeah, I just, at the minute, I just want like fresh, light food and I can't stand the thought of anything stodgy, which is crazy because a week ago, all I wanted was really heavy, like slush and egg McMuffins, nachos, chips, you know, burgers. And now I'm like, no, that sounds like my worst nightmare. Um, and I'm loving fizzy drinks as well. So he also brought me back Orangina. Again, I never drink fizzy drinks ever, ever, but I've been craving it. I've been craving things I never drink like Coca-Cola. I never drink Coca-Cola. Um, and yeah, uh, ginger beer is one that I've been having. That's one that we have in the house. So I've been enjoying ginger beer. I've had some of Dom's Coke when we were out the other day and um, yeah, Orangina. So really weird really weird for me because I'm such a savoury person if you know me I love my crisps I love anything that's like cheesy and delicious and rich and that's not what I want right now so yeah that is my update I am excited for another week so on pregnancy plus it's updated to the next week but this is what I definitely we're definitely looking like now this little cutie pie <laughs> crazy absolutely crazy and this is what I'm working towards this week. This little dinosaur creature. But I think, as far as I'm aware, the baby is roughly about this big right now, which is crazy to think that that little thing's in there. <laughs> so I'll do my little belly update. I don't think there's much to update you on, but um, we'll do it anyway. So there we go, that's me breathing all the way in. There's definitely a little pouch there, but I don't know if that's just you know my normal uterus, I'm not really sure. Oh, that's breathing out. Still a bit bloated, but um, I don't think it's anywhere near as bad as it have, has been. And I have now got maternity leggings on too, which I can highly recommend. These are so comfortable, nothing's digging in and they just feel great. So that's it for now. I will update you all in hopefully in a week's time. Hopefully we have a smoother week than last week. We're finally on to my seven week update. This is literally the longest video in the world, but this week's felt like a long, long week. So I've got my symptoms again, but to be honest, I don't even feel like I need the list. It's been a rough week to say the least. It's yeah, it's been tough this week. I've really been going through it. The nausea really ramped up at the beginning of the week and it hasn't really gone away since. I've been absolutely exhausted pretty much get up with Dom when he goes to work at six and then I go back to bed for a two hour nap after pretty much every day I've done that because I'm just so tired and I'm usually in bed by about nine o'clock as well. One of the things that happened recently is, I think I said it in my last update, my boobs have been so sore but the last few nights I've had to sleep in my maternity bra because I cannot deal with the razor sharp feeling of my nipples on the bed covers or anywhere and I can't not wear a bra like I am always wearing one of these because I can't cope without it it's just so painful having like any sort of like movement over them at all what else have we got oh sweet things so I don't know if you can even see my skin in the video it's quite good lighting but I am so spotty but in like really weird places like hormonal places like all on my chin all on my back all on my neck really painful like really nasty spots as well which could be because of the pregnancy or it could be because the pregnancy is only making me crave sweet things which is really helpful <laughs> the complete opposite of what i usually fancy like i'm such a savory person offer me cheese and onion crisps i'll eat them all day every day but no I to be fair the last day or so it's got a little bit better and I'm able to stomach savory food but for like a few days back there even the smell of like the air fryer cooking 
Don made him selfish fingers one day and the house just reeked and I had to go upstairs. Like, it's been tough, <laughs> like super tough. Um, I've been craving smoothies, so fruit smoothies, chocolate smoothies, chocolate in general. I bought jelly pots. I've been drinking fizzy drinks, like cherry cola is like <laughs> next level great for me right now. Um, I don't let myself buy that as often though, like I had it when I was out the other day. Um, because I really don't do fizzy drinks. What else have I been having really? Ginger bread cake, like parking cake. If you're from England, you'll know what that is. I've been really enjoying that as well. Um, basically anything that's sweet, I've been just loving. I even bought American pancakes the other day because I didn't know what to eat. I was struggling to feed myself enough food throughout the day that was like substantial and not just a smoothie because obviously I want to make sure I'm getting enough fiber. So that's just been really weird to navigate, but I've just managed to have um, tomato soup and toast today. So I think we're back, we're getting back to normal which is good because I really cannot relate to the K who just wanted sweet stuff. Like I'm just not, I'm not a sweet person. To be fair, that's pretty much the main symptoms. Um, not really had an appetite, like I say, but when I have had an appetite, it's only for sweet stuff. Major aversions, definitely more than cravings. I've just been a aversion, aversion, aversion? <laughs> having aversions to any kind of savory food at all. Like I would not want to eat anything. I even, we went out for pizza and I only offered to go out for pizza because I couldn't think of what we would eat for tea and I couldn't stand the thought of having the house smell like food. So we went out to Bella Italia, got a pizza. I was feeling okay, like, and then um, I managed to eat less than half, which is another thing I've been noticing is I can't eat as much in one go. So I'm tending to snack more throughout the day, which I think they say to do, but it's naturally happening. Cause it's like, I've just got less room in there at the minute to eat so much. And then yeah, later on I got hungry and I thought, oh, I, I went to bed early to be honest. And I was laid there like, what shall I eat? What shall I eat? Trying to decide what to have. And I thought I'll go and eat that pizza. I literally put it to my mouth. I went, oh, put it back in the box and put it in the fridge and dummy it the next day, which is not like me at all. And I just remembered my other craving, which was Skittles. So that's all that got me going today is I eat some Skittles before I get out of bed. <laughs> Strong, healthy diet there. <laughs> I had my first midwife appointment. So my eight week appointment, cause I think I said to you guys, I explained it. And um, the NHS is still going off my usual weeks until I have my 12 week scan, which it may change again. Um, it was amazing, really good, got to see the birth unit and have actually changed my mind on where I'm giving birth now, but we'll go into that in another video, I'm sure, because it's still super early days, really, to be deciding where to give birth. But it was great, it was a great experience. I don't know where my little pack is. I'll show you, I'm sure I'll show you guys maybe in a different video, but just got like a little information pack, a pack of free vitamins, a pen, um, and just loads of information, like a little pregnancy magazine as well. So that was nice, you know, to go and, yeah, speak to them. It feels more real now, like I have my blood taken, I had my BMI checked, which thankfully were okay, just about. Um, yeah, just, it feels real. And I've got my 12 week scan booked, but we've also got our next scan in six days, which is so exciting. So yeah, that's my update for this week. It's been a big week um, and the most exciting thing of all, I think I'm starting to show. I can't even explain to you how excited it makes me. I'm gonna do the best I can here. I've really got the right clothes on. So if I breathe all the way in, I don't know if you can see that. I definitely could see it yesterday. I feel like it's way more noticeable at night time, but there is a little tiny, tiny pouch there and it's, I have to breathe all the way in for you to be able to see it. Oh, but yeah, this is what we're looking like from the front. I just feel like it's rounder here, way rounder. So that is, yeah, me showing at <laughs> either seven or eight weeks. We're not really sure really where I am. I'm wondering now if I'm further along than I'm saying I am, 
just because of how much I am showing already but then I always thought maybe I would show because I get bloated so easy and stuff like that but I'm excited you know to be showing a bit early because I just want to make the most of my bump and enjoy it for as long as I can. I see some people who are like super fit and they don't show till they're like 17 weeks and I just could not relate to that. I thought, is that going to be me? And I'm like, no, <laughs> I am so bloated, like in general, like this just looks like a maternity dress. Um, but that's fine, you know, I'm, I'm more than happy. I can just breathe. I've got my maternity leggings on. I've got nothing that's like digging in. It just feels great to just be able to breathe so the sooner I show the better because then I don't have to worry about the bloat anymore <laughs> but that's it for this week I will see you guys in my next update welcome to week nine or the end of week nine I think that's been a very up and down kind of week the beginning of the week started to get better and towards the end of the week I feel like I've deteriorated so much so to start off with I didn't film any of it um, but we went on last Saturday um, to have a private scan. It was a, the scan I had planned for, I think it was seven weeks, but obviously if you watched my last video, I think I've probably split it in two at this point, um, you'll know I had a bleed around about six weeks. So um, I didn't go to the private scan that was planned for like three days later. Instead, I just postponed it and moved it a couple of weeks. So we had that scan. It showed that the little bean inside is nine weeks, one day, and should have been I think like my NHS dates would have been nine, what was it, nine weeks, two days or something. So it's not far behind, it's actually caught up a lot since my six week scan when I measured five days behind. So definitely take the measurements on early scans with a pinch of salt. I wish I'd have known that. Um, everything was amazing before that scan, you know, all my symptoms were up and down, but um, in terms of like, my discharge and stuff, everything seemed normal. I was not feeling worried really at all. Obviously I wanted to know there was a little heartbeat in there. And then we came away from the scan and I had a bleed, another bleed. So something that was supposed to be a reassurance scan turned into quite the opposite. Still not sure why it happened. The midwife didn't give me any explanation. Um, she just said, you know, if the bleeding continues, then go to A&E, and if it doesn't, then we'll just assume everything's fine. Thankfully, it was one time only, exactly the same as what I had at six weeks, so I'm not sure what's going on there. Hopefully, we'll get some answers at my 12-week scan, or maybe it's just completely spontaneous. I did drink far too much water. My bladder was so full, she actually laughed, um, and it was quite painful, so I don't know if, like, it's just... I think I must just have a really sensitive... <laughs> cervix and it just bleeds really easy so yeah that that was that but I'll make sure I pop in a little video because we got a video and it was amazing to see our little squidge just moving around flailing around and just oh it was so nice it was so reassuring to see that and to know that I've already had a bleed before I think if it was the first bleed I'd had I'd have been so stressed out um thankfully it stopped literally it was two wipes that I'd had blood after that it went brown, I had a bath, which I didn't do last time, would highly recommend if you're in the same boat to kind of clear everything away and everything has gone back to normal, touch wood. So I think we're okay. Oh, it's just not what you need, is it? So I've written down my symptoms. This is me today looking mostly okay, like I'm still in like comfy clothes. Um, it's quarter past four in the evening and this is the first time that I've had a shower and got dressed for the day so it's not been a good day today. <laughs> um, here we go, so I've put on my notes, I just like to keep a little rolling tally of what's going on. Have had breathlessness a lot, you'll have noticed it if you've been watching my vlogs closely that I just sound so unhealthy and out of breath and I don't notice I'm doing it but when I watch back videos of myself I don't come up for breath enough and I just sound so puffed and tired. Um, my boobs have been so tender. It comes and goes though, which it was just consistent for quite a long time. Still having to sleep in my bra, still can't go in the shower without doing this. Um, it's wild, it's actually wild. And I am starting to get up in the night for a wee every night now, just one time. Um, and I notice when I get up for that wee that my boobs are just like, ah, so sore. Um, I've popped nausea down. It's been a consistent this week. Um, have noticed it's been a lot worse 
the last few days. It's definitely worse when I don't eat properly, but it's so difficult to eat properly when you're just having so many food aversions and I'm having so many food aversions. The hardest time of day for me is first when I wake up and about this time of day, like four or five o'clock, I really struggle to make tea. I really struggle to even be in the house when tea is cooking and nine out of 10, I end up not having any tea and just have like cheese on toast at like eight o'clock at night when I can stand the thought of it. So not great to be honest. Um, <laughs> the smell of the air fryer is revolting. Oh no, yeah. That's been a definite thing this week. I cannot stand anything cooking in there, especially garlic bread. No, garlic bread can go to hell this week. Exhaustion, which I think is a standard at this point. Building a little placenta in there, it's taking a lot of energy out of me. I'm finding it quite triggering if I'm honest, because if you follow me closely, you'll know I struggled with, sorry about the cats playing, I struggled with chronic fatigue syndrome a few years ago and just being on the sofa, which I'm very grateful, don't get me wrong, I'm very grateful I can take it slow. With being self-employed, I can kind of wing it a little bit more or just choose not to work and sacrifice the extra money a little bit more whereas like when you have a real job a real job you know you don't really get that option unless you do go on sick leave which is kind of what I'm doing to myself and I'll probably regret it in a month or so but for now it's it's what I need um my face skin has been quite dry recently I've noticed that a lot and it's also just super spotty just like yeah, just really random spots and like really weird places. It's mostly like jaw spots and like spots on my chest. I've had really bad lower back and hip ache. That's a bit consistent, but I did start doing Pilates. I'd started doing it just before I had the bleed, then I got spooked again. Left it a few days, once everything seemed back to normal down there, I decided to start again. And it's been making a big difference, so I'd highly recommend if you have hip pain, definitely do some stretches. Um, my nails, they're so strong. I had acrylic six months ago for our wedding for like two months and it killed my nails. They were so brittle, so fragile, they get to a point and they break, like it was just horrible. This is the strongest they've been in a long time and it just suddenly came out of nowhere. Just randomly was like, wow, my nails are doing really well, which is a good side effect. <laughs> One of the only good side effects I've had, other than the fact that we have a little squidge growing in there. Um, and then the last thing here is round ligament pain when sneezing, which is a new one. Um, but yeah, if I sneeze or if I like turn in bed at the wrong angle, oh, the pain. It's like just sort of in the side there, um, which I think is just things growing, moving and stretching. And I've definitely got a little bump now, which is so exciting. So I just really hope everything keeps going to plan. Everything goes well. I hope that if you've had little bleeds throughout your pregnancy and you're watching this, that it can be reassuring for you and that fingers crossed, hopefully for me, it's been okay. And it's just one of those things that they do say, one in three women bleed during pregnancy. And trust me to be one of the one in three. If there's going to be something, it's going to be me that's going to get it, <laughs> but that's fine. It's fine as long as everything's okay, which I think it is okay. I'm really looking forward to our 12 week scan and speaking to the midwives and yeah, just <sighs> just getting to that point and it's coming around so quickly now. Like I can't believe tomorrow I'm 10 weeks. That's just wild actually wild like it's three weeks until hopefully the rest of the world know and that just feels like a massive relief because I'm struggling so much to keep my life like separate and private and my motivation has tanked in the last few weeks and I'm just so struggling to find any kind of enthusiasm to do anything other than just sleep like I keep napping I woke up this morning with Dom we went to bed at the same time we both woke up a bit tired gets up at six, he goes to work. By half past seven, I was back in bed and I stayed in bed till half 10, which is so unlike me. And like most days I have at least a one or two hour nap, which again, grateful I can do, but it's so, it's so triggering because it just reminds me of having chronic fatigue syndrome, but I am tired because there's something bigger going on. I keep reminding myself that, you know, there's a lot going on <laughs> in my body right now and it's okay to be tired and it's okay to rest. And I'm just so grateful that I'm able to. And I hope any of you out there who do work full time in like a, a job where you go to work that you get the chance to just kind of revive yourself as well because it must be so hard like yeah it must be incredibly difficult like I'm struggling and I've kind of got ownership of my own time um, and wage so 
Weird. Anyway, I'm going to show you guys an update before my battery dies. I keep blabbing. Oh, nine minutes long. Oh no. I guess it was a big update though. <laughs> so the biggest development is my boobs are ginormous. It's quite ridiculous. It a nursing bra just exaggerates the problem, but hopefully you can see here. There's just this tiny little, tiny little flicky outy bit. Um, and that's, uh, that's me breathing all the way in. Which is exhausting, I'll have you know. It's so difficult to just breathe in anymore. But yeah, it feels amazing. <sighs> and if I just like relax, this is me completely relaxed, I'm a lot less bloated than I have been. But there's definitely like, there's a little something there and it's definitely more prominent like towards the end of the day or if I need a wee. <laughs> Do not be fooled by my appearance. <laughs> I've only, well, I've only done my hair because I'm filming a video later on today. I've literally just looked like a scruff for about two weeks. In fact, no, probably about nine weeks, really, let's be honest, <laughs> since the moment I found out. Um, most days not feeling great, but I forgot to do my 10 week update. So I thought I would just do my 10 and 11 week update together. This video is already incredibly long. And to be honest, symptoms don't change that much week to week. And I'm starting to feel more myself <laughs> on the whole. Like when I look at, you know, the weeks in the whole, I think actually today I feel really good. Yesterday I didn't feel good, but the day after or the day before I felt okay. So over time, slowly I'm feeling like I'm getting more good days. So that's only a good thing. So I'll just quickly whiz through my week 10 list. I've got metallic taste, which I can taste now. It's like this disgusting taste. And if it's not that, all I can do is taste whatever I've just had. So I had a smoothie this morning and it's all I can taste. And it's literally hours since I ate it. I've been napping every single day. I literally, it's like someone unplugs me. I cannot concentrate. I can't do anything. I just have to sleep. I've had really bad hip pain. We did some gardening last week, I believe it was. And I did too much and um, I think that was the week that my app was like your ligaments are moving and stretching and things might start to ache and on the same day I decided to do loads of bending over and I just think I put my hips like just stretched them a little bit too much anyway it's taken two weeks but I'm finally feeling better says the woman who's gardening later on today fun times <laughs> Um, I've had some growing pains just like in my uterus, like down the side, which is completely normal. The little baby, which is now a baby, it's actually a fetus now. We've gone from embryo to fetus and that feels like a massive milestone. It's growing so much week by week now. It's like doubling in size. It's insane. My cravings for week 10 were orange juice. So week 11, the week I'm currently in, I'm about to be at the end of week 11, but I've got my 12 week scan tomorrow. So I thought I would do my 12 week update with my 12 week scan rather than, you know, doing it this way. So again, with the metallic taste, my boobs have been so much less sore. I can sleep braless again, which is TMI, but oh my God, it's just like, so much better. And I can mostly shower without having to shield myself again but they are ginormous. Like I, I told my auntie the other day and she was like, I knew. <laughs> so I'm wondering how many of you guys have caught on as well. You can't, there is no hiding them. I think these bras as well, they've like got not really very much support, but they're super comfy. But because of that, I think they just make them look so much worse. I've been super emotional, crying all the time at anything. I had a really emotional day yesterday, not in a bad way, like just crying at anything and everything. I was reading this pregnancy nutrition book yesterday and there was this paragraph and I was just bawling my eyes out in the garden to myself, like what am I doing? I cannot watch birth vlogs anymore without just being a mess. Um, my cravings this week have been clementines, watermelon juice which is a robinson's like fruit squash so good and to be honest the last few days it's been lemons and limes i really am enjoying like sour things i've had a few headaches it's been a week of symptoms actually i've had quite a few headaches i've got chest spots like what chest spots there's this really painful one <gasps> look at that they're like welts they are so painful and it doesn't matter what I do, I just keep coming back and I'm like, ah, I really don't want to pick at them because I don't want them to scar, but they are all over here. Um, I've put absolutely exhausted and no motivation to work. Yeah, I have been struggling. Don't get me wrong, the last 
few days I've been able to find some motivation I find getting up getting on with it helps if I'm not having a good day I tend to just mope around and sometimes I think that makes it worse thankfully it's been a bit sunny and when it's sunny it makes me want to get outside um but yeah I'm just absolutely shattered I can sleep for like 10 hours a night wake up and still need a three hour nap so I'm just kind of trying to honor that while I can very grateful that I'm able to do that but yeah it's been wild and I can't stay asleep um, I can't stay awake past 9, 10 o'clock. Literally, like 9 o'clock comes and I'm just like, oh, I'm ready for bed. Um, and yeah, I've had less nausea, definitely less nausea, but it's the nausea I don't find too debilitating. Like, I feel quite nauseous right now. It's the exhaustion and the fatigue that's really been tricky to navigate through. Um, so yeah, I do, I have still had a few food versions, but I'm finding it easier on the whole to eat more savoury food, which is great. Uh, but I am still tending towards sweeter foods because they're just so much easier to digest and they're just so much nicer as well. Actually saying that, I've had mashed potato a few times this week, which sounds really good right now as well. <laughs> um, but yeah, just... I know when I shouldn't eat something, if I think about it, like I can even just think about food now, it makes me shudder, like, oh, that's when I know I should not eat that thing or I should leave the room. Like for example, if I'm cooking tea and I start to get that like shuddery feeling, I just leave the room. Thankfully to this point, touch wood, I still haven't been sick, which is so relieving because I didn't realize till I was pregnant that I'm actually terrified of the idea of being sick. I think I said maybe at the beginning, I've only been sick twice in my entire life. So the thought of it is like quite, quite terrifying. And I feel really sorry for any of you out there who have been sick a lot, but yeah, that is my updates. I'll show you guys my belly, which I think, I think it's there. I think it's there. You're probably gonna watch this like, Kate, okay, it's all bloating. But I am nearly 12 weeks now, and I think there's something there. I've definitely gained a little bit of weight, but that's fine. It's okay. I think it's only natural. I think around week eight and nine, I lost quite a bit of weight because all I was doing was drinking smoothies and just really struggling to eat anything. But then the last two weeks, I've I've been eating more chocolate and like not necessarily a lot of food but the food I've been eating is quite calorie dense so probably should chill out a bit, a bit with that but I'm just grateful to be able to eat things so so here we go it does look a lot more rounded like here and it flicks this is me literally breathing as far in as I possibly can I think it looks like out of proportion because my boobs are so big right now but yeah Definitely some rounding going on here and here. Uh, but on a night time, like I think even now, if I breathe out, I'm just super round and like bloated. Like I look about 20 weeks pregnant at night time, which is so funny to me, but it is mostly just, it's just like bloat and then just that bit there. Cause baby really is like really far down in here. Um, but I'm really, I've got a bit of scansiety, I'm going to be real. Um, I feel like in one of my last updates, I was like, I'm so excited for the 12 week scan. I'm terrified. I am so, part of me is looking forward to it. Part of me is just really worried because you just want to make sure everything's okay. I'm also a bit traumatized from last scan and I just really don't want to bleed again. So we'll see, we'll see how it goes. But I feel hopeful, I do feel hopeful. I think it's natural to worry when you've had a few worrying times, but we will see. I will report back the next time I see you guys, I'll have had my 12 week scan. I'm finally filming my last update for this first trimester vlog because I'm now officially in my second trimester. Oh, which is such a relief to say, like, oh, I am so happy, so relieved. It's been quite a journey getting to this point. But wow, I haven't really written that many symptoms for, I think it's weeks, I think it's weeks 12 and 13 I need to update you all on. So week 12, I, um, I was very tired, very tired week 12. I kept feeling normal, then I would have just a really bad spell of a few days, then I'd have a really good day again, then it'd be bad again, and I just couldn't decide if I was feeling better or not. I think overall I was starting to feel a lot better, but it was still like so challenging some days. I've been having a lot of headaches, which I really don't get headaches unless I'm really dehydrated, so I think that's more of a hormonal thing. My eyes have been quite sensitive to light, which could be to do with the headaches I've been having. Um, we told some more family and we had our 12 week scan 
You guys know watching this video, if you've watched all the way through, this has not been a simple calculation of dates from the start, like from week six. So I was put backwards, I was put forwards, I was put backwards. So week 12 went for my 12 week scan and baby was measuring just a little bit too small for, we were just wanting to do the screening tests just so we were aware if there is anything wrong so we knew how to best support baby. And just for that, you know, just knowing everything is okay. Um, so unfortunately because they were just growing that little bit smaller than what the NHS had expected we had to go back two weeks later for another scan so it's kind of messed up my documentation of it quite a lot throughout this pregnancy so it's not been completely accurate but I think m mostly it has been. So we got to see a little squidge at 11 weeks three days which was insane it was amazing and she was um, doing the ultrasound and I could see everything the baby was like kicking like all the way from one end pushing itself up all the way to the other end and it was just surreal to see oh hi hi Rory <laughs> you're coming up there are you okay then so that was just amazing just so reassuring and I'm so so relieved um so then week 12 have I even written any well week 13 is the week I've just had I've literally written nothing because I just suddenly started feeling so much better. I've got Rory in the corner now. Week 13, I've written nothing in my calendar diary thing. So that just goes to show like how much things have changed. I just feel so much better. Um, overall, I've got more energy. I'm still, I still have tired days like today, just completely burnt out this morning and I just need to go back to bed. So I did, I'm really grateful that I'm able to do that and this afternoon I've just got that really gross metal taste in my mouth but I said to Dom, I've really struggled this entire pregnancy to find motivation and if I've got motivation I don't have energy, if I've got energy I've not got motivation. It's a really toxic cocktail but the last few days I've had motivation again like oh it's like a weight's been lifted off my shoulders. The future seems bright and everything seems good and I'm just excited to get back into work and sharing and just I'm so excited for the rest of it because I'm starting to feel like myself again which is so nice and my food aversions are disappearing, I'm able to eat normal-ish portions again, it's just it's so nice. So I have forgotten I'm pregnant quite a lot the last few days which is weird because it's literally been top of my mind the entire time, like the entire 13 weeks up until this week and yeah it's like I remember sort of first thing in the morning and last thing at night but through the days I kind of forget which is weird because my belly is growing now. Um, so we went for our second scan, our second 12 week scan, which is actually our 13 week scan. So baby was measuring big, um, still measuring a little bit behind on the date. So I don't know if we've just got a little small baby in there or if it was just a grow slow growth week, but either way, they were really happy with what they saw and we saw baby again. I'll make sure I put in like the ultrasound pictures that we got or I'll show you at the end. It was just amazing and they've grown so, so much and I cannot wait to find out what we're having. But yeah, overall just feeling so much better. So I'll show you guys my belly and that will probably be the end of this video, which is weird to think about that I started this like maybe like 10 weeks ago. There is the tiniest little bump and it's just so amazing to know that that is all baby now. Like this little bit here. I get bloated still up here and like if I completely relax, it looks a lot bigger <laughs> because I guess my intestines have moved. I'm always gonna suffer with bloat and that's okay, you know, it's like, is it food or baby? But every day that goes by, it's more baby and that feels amazing. These leggings, by the way, are really nice. These are love leggings. Love legging leggings. And they're really comfortable. But yeah, <laughs> so exciting. <laughs> I really wanted to show as well the Pregnancy Plus app. I love this app. It's just kept me so sane throughout. This was week 11, so it, it works like it says week 12, but it's you working towards your end of 12th week. So at 11 weeks, you are then working towards week 12, if that makes sense. So that was 11. And then you can press this one and it zooms out. This was 12 weeks. Oh my God. And then this is 13 weeks, which is where we are now. This is the first week it hasn't zoomed in and that is a surreal feeling. So this is actual size of baby right now. Oh, <laughs> it just makes me so happy. When I go back to the start, you see like where we started and how far we've come. It's just incredible. 
I just love this app so much. It's helped me bond so much. So this was like the very beginning. <laughs> you can't even see how amazing. So I think that officially wraps up this vlog. I really hope it's been insightful. I know I'm not the first person in the world to ever get pregnant and it's not like special to me, but it is special to me. It's so amazing to go on this journey and I'm so grateful I'm able to document it and share it. And I really hope this video helps, especially if you've had bleeding in early pregnancy like I did, it just, it really threw me. And watching videos like this just really helped to calm my mind of trying to think hopeful and think the best, you know? And even having the 11 week scan and it, the baby being too small just threw me through, through a bit of a loop, to be honest. <laughs> but everything is fine and you've got to stay positive. That's all we can do. And I cannot wait to meet this little baby and I cannot wait to keep sharing the rest of my journey. So make sure you subscribe if you haven't already to follow along on this journey. This channel won't be 100% motherhood but it's a lifestyle channel, so it'll be a massive part of what I share about going forward. And I cannot wait for it all. So yes, thank you so much for watching this video. If you got to the end, you are a superstar. If you're pregnant, then I'm so excited for you. Let me know down below if you are, how many weeks you are, how things have been for you so far, and if you could relate to my own journey. But that's it from me. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you all again in my next video. Bye.